Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Deborah. That's right, it's time for a flip through of crochet! Exclamation point! Because it came in the mail and I have not taken out of its plastic packaging yet. So time to do that. And you know, it's always Deborah proof. So fight the package power. <laughs> Skizzers, y'all. It's all about the skizzers. Now, of course, in the plastic packaging, the reason they do that is because they always put other stuff in there for adverts and such. What are they advertising? A simple to use computer just for seniors. Y'all, y'all. Okay, no. Uh, highlights, I remember highlights when I was a kid. They were always at the orthodontist office and the dentist office. Yeah, like reading them. Uh, Words of wisdom. Oh, Bradford Exchange. Of course, Bradford Exchange. And there's probably stuff in here that's going to fall out as I do it, but that's okay. Now, to the magazine. Kind of thin. I subscribe to this one, by the way. This is not anything sponsored, obviously. If they wanted to sponsor me, y'all, I'd be all for that. But as of yet, I pay for the subscription myself. This one is uh, Winter 2022. If you want to know more about it you can go to crochetmagazine.com and it's not crochet exclamation point magazine it's just crochet magazine um this one is on display until december 26th of 2022 in the u.s it says it's 7.99 at the newsstand or you know like in the store or whatever and canada 8.99 hmm i hope they got some good patterns in there for just that little bit of magazine but we'll see. I always enjoy looking through it anyway. So I do have a bowl with a wet sponge in here so that I can wet my fingers so I can turn the pages. All right, we're celebrating 20 years. Have y'all been subscribing to it for this song? Has anybody? Um, I just started subscribing to this one several months ago. Um, this is like my second or third one. I've really enjoyed it. So, and I'm a person, I love having the, the magazine in my hot little hands. Yes, you can get them digitally. Yes, that's better for the environment. I mean, except for the abused electrons. But I like holding it. Yeah. All right. Stay warm. Hot textures for cold weather. Uh, modern monochrome. Timeless styles for you and your home. 16 quick gift ideas. Designs for everyone. That could be fun. Let's get in there and see. Oh, first we have an advert. Ooh, for a bunch of yarns, Omega yarns made in Mexico. I've never tried any of them. If you tried Omega yarns, talk about it down below. Also, an advert for Women Within, some stretch pants. I'm all about the stretch pants, y'all. Let's be real. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. This, wow, enter for your chance to win the season's best giveaway, over $500 in total prizes. It says see page, whatever it is, 31 for details. Look at that sweater, or as y'all say, across the pond, a jumper. Isn't that cute? I love it. Love it. I don't know how it's made. I think it's going to be a hard one. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> and it tells you where everything is. Um, in every issue, done in one, two, or three skeins, and they give you several different things. Beginner's Corner, articles and tutorials. You Loved, We Listened. What's Hot, which is from the cover, the Bijou Poncho. Is that what that is? I don't know how to say it. Bijou, Bougie, Bougie. I don't know. Um, holiday Happiness, a bunch of holiday stuff. Cute little picture there of the hat with like the mom and the little boy. Little coordinating hats there. And that looks pretty simple and straightforward a lot of, without a lot of crazy stuff in it. So let's, let's move on. A note from the editor. Of course, you're going to have that also. Adverts from Annie's, because this is an Annie's-based thing. This one, Toasty Pocket Warmers. Oh my gosh. They're not mittens, y'all. It says they're hand warmers, and I have to read it like this way, can be made in any color combination and are filled with corn kernels. You can pop these cute little bags into the microwave for some instant heat and tuck them in your pockets to keep your fingers warm on cold days. Corn kernels, won't they pop? Am I missing something here? Okay, that's that's kind of weird. Uh, it, it's marked as an easy. Finished measurements, two and a half inches wide, three and a half inches long. They're using a DK weight cotton yarn for this. Some of this that we saw advertised at the beginning that from Mexico, Omega Otoño. Um, and they're using a 3.75 millimeter crochet hook. Approximately 100 field corn kernels. 
I'm not sure what a field corn kernel is. Somebody's going to have to... Oh, oh, I should have just kept ready. Look, tip at the bottom. Make sure you use... My little thing went kind of nuts there and stopped recording. I've never seen it do that before. Hmm. I was talking about the tip here, about using cotton yarn so that it's a microwave safe. Yes. And it says, find corn kernels for filler in the wildlife section of your farm supply store. Alternately, use rice or rolled oats for filler, but keep in mind they are smaller and may work through the stitches. Don't use the corn kernels you find in the popcorn aisle or you'll be in trouble. Okay, okay, so I was right. Popcorn's not going to work. I have never heard of such corn things, but then again, I don't spend much time in farm stores. Uh, not exactly a country girl, but that's super cute, especially if you live in a cold climate, you want to warm those hands up. Yeah, there you go. This next one is listed as a beginner. It is a quick and cozy scarf. I like that they give some real beginner stuff here. Um, finished measurements on this are 8 inches wide, 76 inches long after blocking. Does not include fringe. Um, they're using Lion Brand Mandala Ombre Medium, which is a worsted weight acrylic yarn. It's a 4 medium using a 6 millimeter crochet hook. And that tells me you can pretty much use any four weight that you want for that because yeah that's pretty interchangeable and that's cool I like I like that they're including beginner stuff and people are saying I can make that without even thinking about it not everybody is as advanced as you are okay I'm just saying, just saying. all right oh here's a tutorial thing here wrong yarn weight no problem and it's something that's going to go through and tell you how to adjust your pattern, especially a pattern for a hat. Love that. I may have to go through that because I, um, yeah, I have some yarn that I want to use for a hat, but it's like the wrong weight of yarn, but I love it and I want to use it. So yeah. And that is specifically written for this all in the family hats, which is listed as an easy. Uh, finish sizes, instructions given fit toddler size, changes for child, small adult, and large adult are in brackets. And they're using a four weight Lion Brand Feels Like Butter uh, worsted weight yarn in polyester. That stuff is really soft if you've never felt it. I don't have any, but it is super soft. And there's that picture from the table of contents. Super cute. And this is the hat they're talking about with this pattern. All right. A lot of gift giving ideas or stuff to make for donations. Because you know, we crocheters gotta crochet we have to crochet and sometimes we don't have people to give it to so donating is always a good thing also but when you're when you're going to donate make sure it's easy care stuff if you're donating to a center or something oh this is nice confident beginner and this is called waves hat i like the design of that but on my head i don't like when it kind of poofs up in the top and the back that's just me i like them to fit a little closer that's, you know, my personal preference, but they are using, it says finished measurements are nine inches long and 20 inches in circumference. It's for a confident beginner. Um, they're using a four weight Plymouth yarn encore worsted weight acrylic wool yarn. Okay. And a five millimeter hook. And just this simple page of instructions. I like when the instructions fit all on one page. That tells me it's not going to be, you know, super difficult either. And here's that one from the cover. The bijou bougie i don't know what that means bijou poncho layers of contrasting texture and a trendy oversized and cozy fit make this poncho a must-have for any winter wardrobe all right this is listed as an intermediate uh the pattern is written for small medium with changes for large extra large 2x 3x and 4x 5x in parentheses this is for all of us, y'all. This is for all of us. Um, and they're using a four weight Barocco Vintage Medium Worsted Weight Acrylic Wool Nylon Blend and a size 5.5 millimeter hook. And let's see, I don't, oh, it has a stitch diagram on another page further in the back as well. But that that's really cool looking. I kind of like that. And I am all about the fingerless mitts. I love them and I want all of them. And here's another pattern for them. 
Lady even got him on a dude. Yes. That's a cute picture. They probably don't even know each other, but they look happy anyway. Models, you know. Uh, for men or women, these must-have fingerless mitts are a pattern you can make multiple times to make everybody happy. Another gift idea or another donation idea. Um, instructions given fit most women. Changes for men are in brackets. And y'all, I got hands of doom. I always have to size up, so that will work for me. Uh, they're using Barocco Fiora Light DK weight cotton rayon alpaca nylon wool blend. And a partridge in a pear tree. They're putting all of it in there? Come on. So, yeah, and they give you all the directions for that. And that's pretty straightforward. And I like the fact that it's a standard and kind of basic enough thing that men won't feel like, oh, it's too frilly or whatever. And women can still wear it too and feel totally cute. Like it, like it, like it. <laughs> Definitely for the gifts or when you're taking, you know, everybody to the cabin for the weekend or whatever. Very fun indoor snowball fight. You make little snowballs. This is the dude that holds them. That's kind of cute. Um, finish measurements, 10 inches tall, 26 inches in circumference. It looks like the bear is made out of six weight Bernay baby blanket, super bulky polyester yarn and uh, two different colors there. And the ball, oh no, no, the nose and the eyes are made out of a four weight. So I guess the balls are made out of the super bulky as well. Hmm. And this, these continue on page 64. It is not a one page pattern because you're making two different things there. Oh, and by the way, that's an easy listed as easy. The touch of red scarf. That's kind of cute. And if you're not into red, make it a touch of blue or a touch of green or whatever. You do you. This says this is in the holiday happiness section. This long skinny scarf is a must make. There are so many ways you can wear it and the spectacular tassels add an element of moxie to any winter outfit. All tassels add for me or something else for my cat to attack. Yeah. This is listed as an intermediate. Instructions make a lovely length of skinny scarf for most women. If you'd like it to be longer, increase your multiples by four. So it tells you just how to make it longer if you want to. They're using a four worsted weight Plymouth Yarn Encore, which is acrylic and wool blend. Okay. Tip, this has worked in a variation of the mosaic crochet style, but with the wrong side facing you. It's a fun surprise when you flip it over and now you have a gorgeous scarf. Hmm, might be something to, to look at. And again, if not for you, then for a gift or something. And I feel like I've skipped a page here. That's because I have. I don't want to skip a page. Oh, because we might miss this. Okay. This is the Winter Bloom Pullover. Made from the top down with post stitches and peekaboo spaces, this simple and classy sweater has a lovely lace look that fits just as beautifully with dress pants as it does with jeans. I could see that. They've only got it sized up to a 2X though. It's an intermediate, probably because it's like a top down thing and if you're not that comfortable with crocheting stuff, it might be kind of hard. Um, instructions given fit a women's size small. Changes for medium, large, X large, and 2X are in a brackets, okay? And they're using a four weight Cascade 220 Superwash Merino wool. So, and a four millimeter hook. Okay, let's see. And they, they give you another little picture of it here. Kind of a close up of the sleeve. Kind of cute, kind of cute. I don't think I'd make that one though. Because I think it would be like super boxy. They give you like a diagram of and how long things are and how big they are and stuff there too. So, all right. Some more holiday stuff. This is an easy uh, finished measurements and I should show it to you first. That's definitely holiday style right there. Look at the little reindeer. Uh, the blankie, is it, they don't even call it a blanket, they call it a blankie, y'all. 36 inches square on the blankie and the pillow is 16 inches square and they're using super saver on this and the higgy bulky for part of it as well. So yeah, they're just using a red heart that makes it a lot more accessible and affordable 
you know, for those of us on a budget. Um, it's cute. I like the reindeer thing. The blanket to me is just, to me, it's a little too busy. It's like, oh, ah, colors. Oh my gosh. And in colors that I normally wouldn't put together. Riley reindeer pillow and blankie is what this one is called. I like the, I like the pillow though. I think the pillow is super cute. Oh, oh, and here's something clever. You can fold up the blankie and put it in the back of the pillow. Cute, 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 cute. Adverts for Annie's Christmas. Oh, here is something. Oh, now we get into the super fine. Here's more holiday happiness. It says Northern Woods Scarf. Hard to see the stitches on that because it's done in a one weight. Uh, this would make an incredible gift for a loved one. Crocheted with front post stitches and a soft wool blend that gives it a luxurious drape. This generously sized scarf is an accessory anyone would love. It's an intermediate. It's 11 and a half inches wide and 83 inches long. And they're using Cascade Yarns Heritage Super Fine Fingering Weight Superwash Merino Wool Slash Nylon. And a 3.25 millimeter hook. And I believe this is where they're talking about the giveaway on this page here. And yeah, they're talking about all the different things you can win and what you have to do to go enter. There's that. Oh, this is that one that I really like from the table of contents. The Harlequin sweater. I think that's so cute. Aha, have fun with Interlac crochet. This incredibly warm and cozy sweater is sure to be a showstopper wherever you go, whether you're a parent with skinny jeans or leggings. And it says size to 2X. And this one says challenging. They don't normally put a lot of the challenging patterns in the magazine, but straight up, y'all. Challenging. Yeah. They're using a three-weight Barocco Vintage Light. Um, mm, and a five millimeter hook. A four millimeter and a five millimeter hook. For two different parts of the sweater it's i have seen somebody talk about interlock before i think it's like a form of tunisian but i am lost lost on it but that's so pretty more a lot of pages a lot of pages for that one okay remember in the last magazine i did the crochet world there was cables throughout the whole thing well it's not just there here we have cables again the modern cable pillow says you simply can't go wrong with a classically handsome cable pattern. Mix the cables with a bit of dark gray for a modern twist on a timeless trend to make this project a pillow you have to have. Uh, it's listed as a three intermediate and it's 15 inches square without the pillow form. They're using a number four Premier Yarns Anti-Pilling Everyday Worsted Medium Acrylic Yarn. Pretty accessible for most folks so that's not bad and they are using a five millimeter hook. 5.5 or a five. For the two different parts through the edging has to use a different different size but that's okay and it's made of two panels crocheted together and they show you how to do that as well so that's cool oh i kind of like this oh and they've got it paired with the pillow how cute look at that yeah this modern c to c blanket pattern that's corner to corner uh creates a stunning geometric pattern that forms a unique optical illusion just repeat the same square until you get as many as needed for the size you want and seam them all together oh it's done in individual squares that's awesome that makes it to me that makes it more doable because if i only have to concentrate on getting this much done and then i can you know move on and get, put them together later that's less scary for me. That's an, this is an intermediate, and they give you the graph on how to put them together. That's pretty cool. They're using uh, four worsted weight. They're using Caron one pound for this one. Um, yeah. So not bad. Let's see how much yarn it actually takes. One skein each of medium gray mix and white. So just two pounds of yarn. That's not bad. Oh, and it says tip. You can add more blocks to get different sizes. Uh, throw size, you add more square. Let's see. It tells you how many squares to add. Afghan size, twin size. It gives you all of the, the who's it's and what's it's in there for how to make it better. Here's something else that would make a really awesome gift because there's no size involved. Stripes and tassels tote. 
This chic and stylish tote is stitched in a classic palette of gray and white worsted weight yarn. Two large tassels give the design an easy, fashionable finish. Or you can forego making the tassels and just get like an awesome hanky um, from Lisa Ladybird Loves. It's a keychain that looks like a little hank of yarn. Seriously, hang on your bag. It'll be much cuter than that. But they're using Brene Super Value Medium yarn for this. And again, use what yarns you have. Use what yarns you can afford and kind of correlate with it size-wise and stuff. Nobody say, ain't nobody got time for that to go out looking for special yarn sometimes for something like a bag or something, you know. Finished measurements, 14 and a half inches wide, 14 inches long, excluding the handles. And of course you make the handles on there as well. All right, they're using a five millimeter hook on that, by the way. The One Row Ruana. That's, I still don't understand what a Ruana is. I just don't. Um, making this Ruana is downright relaxing. It says, it says relaxing. Do we believe them? Stitched in a simple rectangle with each row repeating. You can easily watch your favorite TV show or listen to your favorite podcast while whipping this up. They say it's an easy. It's a one size. The finished measurements are 36 inches wide and 70 inches long. And they're using a four weight uh, Cascade Yarns Pacific Medium Weight Wool Acrylic. Uh, tip, the pattern calls for a larger hook than you would normally use for worsted weight yarn. This helps give your project more drape and cuts down on time spent crocheting. Yeah, they're using a six and a half millimeter with, uh, with a four weight yarn. So, all right. This is kind of cool. Look at that. This is the Modern Sampler Throw. Learn four different stitches while creating this carry-along project made with chunky and super chunky weight yarns. This will work up quickly. And the finished measurement on this is 48 inches square. They're calling this an intermediate. They're using bulky, chunky weight acrylic yarn and super bulky yarn as well. So two different weights of yarn in that. That's an interesting pattern to it. A lot of pages, a lot of pages, okay. Ooh, socks. Ooh, socks and a bulky weight yarn. Yes. <laughs> Although the sizes don't go anything big enough for me. We'll see if we can fix that. Prepare yourself for cooler weather with soft, warm socks that feel and look great. Don't these look like these would be super comfy wearing around the house when it's super cold? Uh, they're using a five bulky. It's Lion Brand Homespun. Another use for homespun, y'all. Uh, chunky weight yarn. Two skeins of it. And it's 170 grams per skein. So, yeah. And what they're saying is finished sizes. Instructions given fit a women's shoe size of four to five, small. Changes for shoe size six to seven and shoe size eight to nine are in brackets. What about the 13s, y'all? What about the 13s? And what if your guy wants some big cozy socks too? Dude, size them up. Show us what to do. All right, the Cascading Comfort Shawl. This is really pretty, I think. They call it Fireside Chats is the name of it in this section. Th that's really pretty. I like that. I like the stitch pattern on it. And it says that it's an intermediate. Uh, 23 inches by 75 inches are the finished measurements. They're using four medium Lion Brand Date Nights medium worsted weight acrylic polyester yarn and a six millimeter crochet hook. A six millimeter on a, on a four weight would give you lots of drape. So yeah, nice, nice, nice. Ooh, more fingerless gloves. Those are interesting. I probably wouldn't do the contrasting colors like that though, but that's just me. One size to fit women's small, medium. Not going to fit me anyway. Um, it's a confident beginner though. It's not just, it's not a super hard or anything. Victoria fingerless gloves. These feminine and elegant fingerless gloves have a neo-Victorian aura and a stretchy ribbed construction that makes them perfect for anyone to wear. And this is done out of a four weight King Cole Fashion Erin medium weight wool acrylic blend. And they're doing it in a four and a half millimeter crochet hook. And it gives you some tips about sewing the glove body together. Here's another easy pattern, the Cool Stripes Poncho. 
I like that. I like it. You could kind of do that with any colors that you wanted, right? Uh, finish sizes. Instructions given. Fit a women's size small, medium, large. Oh, oh, size small, medium, large. Changes for extra large 2X are in brackets. Of course, it's very loose sizing. So I imagine you could even size up if you wanted to. This is an easy, again, by the way. Uh, long edge folded on the finished measurements is either 29 and a quarter or 33 inches. And the short edge is 21 inches. They're using Red Heart with Love on this. So, okay. Love that. Advert for Knit Me Crochet Show. Ooh. More cables, but I, I like that with that yarn especially. Look at this. Isn't that pretty? It's called the Seralina Sweater. This stylish laid back look with embossed texture is sure to make this sweater one of your favorite winter pieces. Made with simple front post stitches, the garment comes together easily and offers great style. It says it's an intermediate. Okay. And instructions given fit a women's size small. Changes for medium, large, X large, 2X large, 3X, 4X, and 5X are in brackets where one number only appears. It applies to all sizes. And this is done in a four Malabrigo Rios medium worsted weight. I bought myself some of that and I already know what I'm making. And it's not this, although this is super cute. Um, the color they did it in is beautiful. And I love that they finally include up to a 5X. Not everybody is a small medium. Okay. Okay. They give you another picture of it, kind of an up close with her necklace dangling on it. So you can kind of see a little bit. I know it's hard to see on my screen. They give you a diagram of how to put it together. Oh, oh, ooh. Double the fun beanie. It's a reversible beanie that you, yeah. Okay, this is with one side showing, right? And this is with the other side showing. This is the same stinking beanie. That is awesome. And this is listed as an easy. Ooh, they're using a four weight yarn and a six millimeter crochet hook for this. They're using Omega Sophie medium wool acrylic. Um, that is really, really cute. I like that. Very cute. These are some more fingerless mitts. These are done in an intermediate. Very dark color. It makes it a little harder to see on my screen. Uh, textured top mitts. This is, like I said, an intermediate. Instructions fit women's size, small, medium. Medium, large are in brackets. And they're using a four weight red heart soft on this. It's all acrylic. Okay. Give you all the instructions for that. These are leftover instructions for a lot of other things. The Bijou Poncho comes with its own graph, if you understand graphs, which I don't get. Um, all the other, because nothing lasts for just one page or hardly anything, so they're all back here. The Harlequin Sweater, that even looks hard. No wonder it's challenging. Okay, come on, I'm turning, I'm turning, I'm trying to turn. Good gravy. Yeah, just the finishing of all of the ones there. Um... And of course, on the back of all of these magazines from Annie's, they give you the buyer's guide, which tells you kind of where you can go and get some of these yarns, the, the main companies, the standard yarn weight system and what it means, the different skill levels and what they mean, and stitch guide to help you out if you're not sure what they're meaning about stitches and the abbreviations. Plus, something that I think every magazine that does anything crafty should do is the at a glance section. Kind of remember what you were looking at. I have no idea what it was called. Look at a picture and find it. It tells you what page it's on. Go to it. Okay. I was fussing about the number of patterns and stuff in here. Like how skinny the magazine was. But that's a lot of patterns for eight bucks. And a lot of really useful stuff too. To me. Um, stuff that I think that I could do. Stuff that I would love to be able to do. But that challenging one would just frustrate me to no end. And I would be like, ah, rage and throw the yarn away. It would be bad. It would be but I'm sure some of you could do it because we have some very talented people in the community and well, I would love to see somebody do that. I would love to see somebody do a um, tutorial on that interlock. Are there any good tutorials on that that are easy and easy to understand? Has Crystal Bagaday ever done an interlock tutorial? Ooh, that would be interesting because I'm, I'm pretty good at following her stuff. Um, but yeah, 
there we go. There is crochet exclamation point. Hope you've enjoyed this super long video. And thank you for hanging out with me, flipping through another magazine. And don't forget to check out the playlists that have popped up along here because I'll put them in afterwards. And uh, <laughs> be sure and look at all of my flip throughs, my book looks, and all the other goofy stuff that I got going on around here. I appreciate you sticking around and I hopefully will see you very, very soon. Bye y'all.